Okay, um, good evening, morning, afternoon, whenever you're going to watch this, everybody. Um, I'm doing another video for Grant Noble. I've been asked, this is, this is a tricky one, this is a really tough one that tests your patience, okay? So um, this is what Grant Noble, who, if you haven't been watching the Noble series, then Grant is a great trainer in California um, who uh, asked me for advice um, a lot. So, um, and then what I do is I, I re do my reply. Sometimes you're on the phone talking and stuff, but I do my reply through a video and, and then he can use that and he finds, he finds that more helpful. So this is what he's asked me this time, and I'm going to show you then the video because um, he sends a video along with it, okay? So it says, hey Roddy, really need your help with this dog. He will not stop reacting on the walks or at home. Now he's starting to do this screeching noise. We'll recall off leash with remote, okay, his remote collar trained. We'll place for hours at a time, so we'll go and place for hours at a time. So he's good at duration. Uh, sleeps in a crate at night. I'm assuming he sleeps in the crate at night quietly. Um, showed them every trick in the book. We'll be boarding the dog until I figure this out. Okay. Now what Grant is saying here then is what would Roddy do? Okay. So it's it's a, a wee bit tough because it's just... Uh, uh, how long is this video? It's just like a minute long video. Okay. Let me just pause it. Bring up some volume so you can see it looks like a wee schnauzer type dog, I'm assuming. So here's the dog. Here's the video. Let's see, I just want to make sure I've got a good capture of that. I'm going to play it. This is the dog. Just so you can hear in case How you can. How is it possible for one little dog to make so much noise? So that reaction there tells me a lot of things. That dog jumping up there, that, that's the key. It tells me a lot of things. Yeah. I'm going to talk about that. Okay. So, first thing I think of when I look at that little video is I'm like, oh, what a great wee guy. Or girl, um, from what he says, I'm sure the dog doesn't care if I'm calling it a guy or a girl right now. Uh, let me just check. So I get it right going forward. It doesn't say boy or girl, so them, the dog. Um, what what I first of all think, okay, so I paused there. You maybe didn't notice actually in the camera. Pause. Woman, child coming in the room. <laughs> Wifey. Eh? So. The first thing I'm thinking of of the wee schnauzer is uh, I'm thinking, I'm just looking at it right now, I'm just thinking, what a great wee dog, you know, it's trying so hard. The dog is trying so hard to be obedient, okay? And this is a key thing for me here in particular, Grant, between the difference in being balanced and, and obedience, okay? The dog, as you um, have said, kind of knows a lot of things, it will place, it will heal, it will 
stay uh, you know commands and it knows the commands and it will physically do things even great duration but it's not quite balanced it just doesn't know how to be calm you know um and that could be for a number of reasons so that is then that's the type of thing there that blows out the water people that dare slag like caesar milan or or, or what i do because I'm more dog whispering, if you like. You've got trainers that, trainers I very much respect and got on with, um, and then they actually have done videos slagging, like, about energy and things like that, and it's just, it's ridiculous, you know, it really is ridiculous. So, the, um, the, the, the key thing for me is this dog has obedience, but is not fully balanced. That's the key thing. So, <coughs> the... Just because the, they're telling the body to do something, people do this every single day. They think they're going to, and there's a lot of great, great trainers, trainers I really respect, and they do a lot of emphasis on if you put the body in a certain position, the brain will calm down. Whereas I am more the opposite, okay? I focus on if you tire the body, then you're disciplining the mind, or it's easier to discipline or control the mind if you tire the body out first. And some people say that's kind of, that's, that's cheating. Some people are like, well, that's a bit cheating. And it's like, no, the dog, you're fulfilling the dog's needs. So I'd be looking at how much structure there is in that dog's walk. Um, that, that's one, one of the things in terms of walking to heel and being with you. I, my biggest thing I'd be saying about this, Grant, is the relationship the dog has with the owners, okay, with the family. Just the reaction of when the owner bent down and the dog jumped up on them and, you know, this kind of angsty, panicky jump up. That tells me that they're nurturing a lot of unstable behaviour. I would look at that and I would think one of the main reasons that dog acts the way it does is because it gets affection when it acts that way. When they come home and hiya and cuddles and kisses. Um, so that dog has been given is give, and is given affection. Um, too excitedly and then it looks like they're giving affection too quickly as well so when the dog starts getting a wee bit excited and it's part it's hard it's part of its character you know we get a wee bit excited and, and and it's obviously naturally a bit of a vocal dog as well you know it's a talkative dog you get people that can have dogs and they're quite talkative to you and um, but that that dog needs some time where it learns just to be with the owner the owners really should be waking, making the dog work more for their affection. And then their affection should really just be success markers. Just good, good. Yeah, there you go. Simplifying the affection. I'd be doing a lot more negative punishment with that dog. You know, a lot more. Like that dog's trying so hard not to, you know, to please and to get the next you know, next phase, right? I'm, what, what, do you want, what do you want me to do now? I'm, I'm lying here. What do you want me to do? You know, but I can't help it. I'm like a coiled spring. So that means that the people have given the dog affection when it's acted like that before. And and you could even tell it, to be honest, by the tell, by the way that the, the lady was speaking in the background. And that's not, I'm critiquing. I'm not constructively to try and help. It's not me trying to put anyone down or anything like that. But the way you're going to achieve success here um because um i mean i've I personally had rex was quite like that at some points quite a vocal dog quite an anxious and uh you're thinking right okay i'm gonna put the dog in a certain position and in no place and get obedience and and use duration but a lot of times as well it's you just can't nurture or give any positive reinforcement when the dog is starts to Oh, oh, and and then we the humans are like yeah oh good boy I see you I see you see that dog can't handle that right now, okay literally that is is drug, and it's a drug addict, so we're gonna have to wean it off for a wee while and it needs to be calmer affection and it definitely needs to be calmer affection, um but I'd be doing a lot more just kind of being with the dog kind of ignoring just having the dog be with me, I wouldn't really be focusing first of all on that getting rid of that whining this is i'm assuming and, and again it's hard to tell in the video is that dog waiting it's got leads on is that dog waiting to go for a walk because you know that's slightly different than just being around the house so that's waiting on a walk going on a walk you know the dog's working really hard there to try and get rid of 
energy, but it just can't help it. It needs to just whine. So has that dog previous to that been like when they got the lead out, it got all excited and jumped and blah, blah, blah. And then now you're not getting that. It's staying there, but it's maybe whining. You know, I, I would actually be doing that in stages to where I'm like, cool, that I'll take that right now. That's much better than before. Let's move on. But to go from that stage there, I'm assu I'm assu let's say that dog's waiting to go for a walk. I'm assuming if that dog's waiting to go for a walk there, then that's a real challenging situation. There needs to be more repetitions of bringing the lead out, desens you know, counter conditioning there, desensitizing the lead, bring it out, put it on, dog's whining, blah, 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 just ignore, back off. There needs to be more time put into that. But I think ultimately the biggest thing is what I'd be looking at, what are the, when are the owners giving affection and how are they giving affection? Um, do they when they as soon as they pet the dog is the dog jumping up on them and being like all excited around them and all that because they love their dog of course so you know and they maybe they want that from their dog but that dog if you want to get rid of that that the dog can't get affection for anything like that right now the dog needs to learn to be kind of relaxed and just in a follower state of mind rather than I would say a lot of that is because that's been nurtured before all right. We're probably going to definitely be doing, uh, probably definitely, we're, I'm sure we're going to be doing another video to follow up this and you can answer some of these questions. But um, yeah, that dog needs to just be in the house and just, even if the dog can be, I'm not even saying the dog has to be on place. The dog's pretty well behaved in the house. It can be free around the house, but just little things like they go and sit on the sofa. Is the dog trying to jump up on them? Is the dog trying to be near them all the time? Is it then, are they, it comes and it's excited and gets petted and, you know, that's not helpful for that dog right now. The dog just needs to learn to exist with them um, and being almost simpler with their commands when they're like, you know, feeding the dog or whatever. It's just kind of like you're with us, but we're not really doing much with you. The dog just needs to learn to relax a bit more. Now, what you've also said in there is, uh, so the main thing is is the relationship between the owner and the dog. I would say what they're nurturing, all right? Um, now, the dog will not stop reacting on the walks or at home. So in what scenarios, I mean, so I'm assuming you mean it reacts to other dogs or people that it sees. So then we have to look at, well, how is the timing, um, you know, of being able to cut it at the fuse before the explosion. Um, I would need to kind of see a video of that um for out on walks to see how it's reacting um are you putting in is other owners is this with you or is this with the owners um and other owners maybe just putting it pushing it too quick into distraction where they're not really ready for that yet um the screeching noise just is and he says now that it's doing a screeching noise i mean the screeching noise is kind of a symptom of how the dog is feeling and the breed is vocal so um you know, when the dog then, let's say where that dog's reacting to other dogs, when it then meets dogs, is it that it has, is it trying to attack them? Is it just like super excited? You know, we kind of need to know more about that. Caesar Milan actually does a great episode about a wee dog that's just like that. Years and years ago, that um, and, and it's very, very vocal before it meets and how we, we stop that. And a lot of it was just learning to exist and be and walk, you know, is this a dog that walks within your pack for the pack walks when you're dog walking? That'd be beneficial if it is. Um, so yeah, let, let me know what your feedback, hopefully that helps a bit. But my first thing I'd be looking at when you're talking about in that scenario is I need to know that video, is that going for a walk or is that just in general? And, but that it's the relationship the dog has with the owner. Just that telltale, the way the woman was speaking about the dog and and I don't mean that in a horrible way, but also just when the guy had his bags of shopping or whatever it was, and he went down and the dog instantly just boom straight up to climb on him. You know, that that's a, it's a telltale sign. Dogs don't lie. They tell the truth all the time. So hopefully that helps a bit. First, get back to me and we'll take it from there.